Right, okay, this is the last part of the August September sales video. Is that going? Yeah, it's going. So, vintage carbon steel crepe pan fabric on fronts, nine and a half inch pan 24 omelet used. I literally, um, I couldn't be asked to clean this. Um, so I put it on, I think I got it out of like either a 10p or a 20p rummage thing, the car boots. A uh, bit inspired, to be honest, by um, Caroline from the Celtic Traders, because she's always come back with these things from the Bacons. Um, so I did have on a 20, really, to be honest, no interest. Not really that surprising either. However, somebody offered me a tenner, I think, on Monday, and I just thought, yep. Yeah. And they probably thought, oh, she accepted that a bit quick. Probably could have got it for a bit cheaper, but yeah, just thought another big heavy thing out of my garage. Move it along. Um, oh, I've moved to the end now. All right, so if you've caught the um, first part of this sales update, Oh, here we go. You'll realise how slow it is. Right, um, another Paper Chase personal organiser. Um, I know you're probably not meant to use file effects. Paper Chase personal organiser, file effects, purple flowers, butterflies, including dividers. These, um, shit, heck, this is just the angle's crap. These um, Paper Chase file effects, when they're nice and fat with all their stuff in, I just put them on for £25 plus shipping. And you can message me all you like, but that's what it's going for. So I just hang on to them until they sell. I actually did pick up a few um, ones without their innards at the weekend. Oh, we've seen that. Oh, I'm able to get rid of things now. Uh, with that, yeah, there's my Ben 10. Yeah, without their innards. And I put those on for 15 plus shipping. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, I've just had a confirmation from the Premier Inn. There you go, Karen. We're booked in. Uh, that's for the hitch and meet up for anybody who's been living under a rock. Um, yeah, so there's the Ben 10 bundle, £40, um, Facebook pickup for a fiver, happy with those. Um, what are we on next? Oh God, this was foul. Black men's lambskin, leather overcoat, trench coat, Mac jacket, steampunk, goth, SM, as in small, medium, nothing else. Um, I think I got it dirt cheap. I must have done because it's revolting. It's just not my sort of thing. Uh, but I think I often think, oh my God, when I see like a leather jacket, a, like a real leather jacket, really cheap, I think I've got to pick it up because there's going to be money in it, isn't there? So I thought I, probably that's quite a low price, 30 quid plus shipping, but I'm really trying to get out of coats. Um, but you've heard that kind of BS from me before, the stuff that I'm getting out of, and you'll see some more of it coming up, no doubt. There's another tin, another Emma Bridgewater, Emma Bridgewater Kitch Pencil, Box Tin Storage, Pink My Set Play, and there's the dimensions. Um, so a tenner for that one. It was all good and I had positive feedback. Um, again, probably paid uh, 50p for that, because that's what I like to pay. Um, this little jelly cat plush, I used to have this and he was 10p. Uh, fabulous. He's like a little fox. In a, in a like a sheep's jacket. Oh, I hate how close that is. A sheep's coat. It's so gorgeous. It's like lined with gold. Oh, I can show you the. Yeah, look at that. You can see that. Oh god, my dodgy nail varnish. Look at the gold lining. It's fabulous. Anyway, um, yeah, about ten p. When she said that, I was like, oh, I'm not really meant to be doing. I didn't say this to her. Not really meant to be doing plush. Meant to be getting out of that. I was like, oh, well, I've got to buy it for that, haven't I? Um, yeah, jelly cat plush, soft toy, red fox, white fur coats, black boots, kitsch, fairy tale. Sold pretty quickly actually for £15 plus shipping. So yeah, happy with that. So yeah, it's BS really about the stuff that I will and won't pick up because if I see it cheap enough or it's cute enough, then I'll buy it anyway. Um, yeah, if you follow me on Insta, you'll have seen this. A series of unfortunate events, Lemony Snicket Complete Collection 53 CD audio book. Um, yeah, I've sold another set. It might have been a rolled doll of these CD audio cassette things, um, you know, little case things. I sold one for, I think it was 20 plus shipping. When I looked this up, one had gone on bids for 20, I think it was 27 plus shipping. Um, but I thought, oh, I'm just going to do it, buy it now. And I just want stuff turning over. So I just put 25 plus shipping. I think it sold like overnight. So yeah, 
wouldn't mind plenty more of those. Oh, actually, I did pay a fiver for it. It was originally 10 in the charity shop and I left it when I saw it was 10 quid and then like a few weeks later it was five quid and I thought, yeah, I'll have it for that. Um, like vintage cable knit fisherman's jumper pure new wool made in Scotland slash Wales. I know that sounds odd, but there was something weird on the tickets. So there it says Wales, and then on the inside label it says made in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, um, size XL. I love, I don't know why there's a pink stripe there. I love picking up these. I would love to wear these, but wool just itches me to buggery these days. Um, but it's a real nice oversized drop, you know, it's probably like a... 90s 80s 90s drop shoulder i just love jumpers like that and it's all for 30 quid and i think i think that was might have been a car boot pickup so it was probably one or two pounds so happy days um let's see if we can that's a rather oh yeah here you go more bs i'm not picking up mugs i'm getting rid of bags i'm out um, it's a mugs game i'm out of it yeah pick this up i'm guessing it must have been 50p and that's why i picked it up because it's a well, so Disney Store Large 3D Blue Mug Cup Coffee Hot Chocolate Donald Duck Collectible. Always just stuff in as many keywords as I can. <laughs> um, and I, it was one of those things, it was kind of like in the death pile, and I picked it up and thought, oh, for goodness sake, just get it on. 15 quid, and that also sold like within two days, I think. 15 quid plus shipping, so yeah. But yes, I will keep picking them up. And I haven't, I don't know if I've had feedback, but I assume it hasn't arrived in a crumpled, broken, you know, rattly mess. So my packaging must have been on right on that. Oh, this one, I just wanted to pop in. This was my first prop sale. Um, antique pewter tin witch's hat, candle snuffer, dowser, early lighting, 2.75 inch high. So a cute little thing, little tiny, easy to package, happy days. Paid £1.50 for that. Um, and sell for 40 plus shipping. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, if, <laughs> wouldn't it be nice just to go to a charity shop and it'd just be full of like lemony snicket CD audio tins and antique pewter tin witches hats? <laughs> oh God, just put my feet up then. Um, but yeah, it went to like, the address was something like Shelley Props um, and then it was a, um, a like a theatre company that does a lot, puts on a lot of Shakespeare. Um, so I was like, ooh, my first prop well that I know of. I was quite chuffed with that. But I tell you what, it's a diddy little thing. And I thought, for them to spend 40 quid on that as a prop, I was like, God, they've got some money to spend those props departments, haven't they? All right, what have I got? Oh, yeah, vintage wood effect, six drawer cassette tape storage box holds, 72 audio tapes, 80s, 90s. I did literally pay about 70p for this. And I, for some reason, got overexcited and bought another one thinking, oh, yeah, these are great. Um, I did accept an offer of £18 on this, um, but it was a, a huge to store. I've just got to stop buying this bulky crap. Um, I wouldn't pick it up again, just felt, even though I know I picked up this summer, so it's older than the summer, so it could be worse, but nah, nah thanks. I had good feedback on that as well, actually, it was really chuffed. Yeah, nah. This one I took an offer recently. This is one of the, so Dorma Honeysuckle Floral Single Quilt Cover, oh no, Quilt Duvet Cover, 135 times 200 centimetres kitsch. I know you don't have to be in WT on the end anymore, but I think I just like, oh, I've got characters left, I need to fill them. Um, yeah, so I didn't even know about Dorma as a brand. I don't, I think it might have been Caroline Mrs M mentioned Dorma. And then where I, now where did I pick it up from? Oh, I think I did pick up. Oh, I can tell actually <laughs> by this background. <laughs> I picked this up on our travels. Now, where, what premiere in were we in? Uh, that must have been the Exeter one, Exeter St David's, and we Exmouth was absolutely unbelievable. It had like you just couldn't move for charity shops. I was in my, I was like a pig in shit in my element. Um, I think I paid a fiver for this, five or six pounds. I did take an offer of twenty five happy with that and I've had positive feedback she's really pleased with it so yeah that's nice um this next one thank you to I think it's Caroline Making Lemonade that mentioned this brand Sahara Sahara textured grey white loose fit fluffy oversized cardigan jacket um UK 12 to 14 I stuck fluffy in there because it is because it is fluffy I did go over it with my D bobbler but um 
it was still quite fluffy. I think it was like the nature of whatever material it was. But bizarrely, oh no, this is crooked, isn't it? Bizarrely, just after, I think Caroline um, mentioned it. Oh, hang on, is that actually better? Oh, oh no, it's about to fall off. Um, I, I literally, sometimes I just write, I've got Oscar in my phone at the moment. I've got a list of things to look out for and I'd literally just put in Sahara. I went to the car boot the next day and this was on like a rummagey load of bundle of rubbish on the ground. Um, two pounds. Yeah, I'm happy to pay two pounds for that. It's on my little bucket list. 30 quid. I sold pretty quickly within, you know, two or three weeks or something. So yeah, happy. Be looking out for more Sahara. Um, oh, this is funny. This is funny because I think, did I show you? Maybe I just showed this on Insta. This gross old lady dressing gown which I also picked up on our travels. Um, where were we? Wales. So this was from Conway. And I got a load of David Nieper stuff there. It was really bizarre. So I paid, yeah, six pounds for this gross dressing gown. David Nieper, long, thick, smart, cozy winter dressing gown, M UK 14. Current RRP, 135 pounds. Because I looked up, I think I put it on for something like, 30 and I thought oh you've taken the mick drop the price a bit um and so I thought oh, hang on I'll just go on the David Nieper website before I do that went on the David Nieper website and it was current stock 135 pounds for a thick old lady dressing gown I gobsmacked gobsmacked so I put the price up um for 50 quid and so when were we I think that was yeah, it was my husband's birthday actually, so it was the 30th of August I picked that up, put it on when we got back, and sold, must have sold within a couple of weeks. Oh, there we go, um, ended 16th of September. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Totally mental, so yeah. Bring on the David Nieper. Right, last thing, which is good, because I'm going out in a few minutes. Yeah, Tartan is in. I picked this up the other week, I thought I'll have a um, punt on this, like picking up kind of wool, rocky things. It looked nice, Royal Scott, <laughs> um, and it's kind of that, I don't know what check that is, it's like a Burberry check, whatever that is. Um, oh, what was that? I must have copied this from somewhere. Royal Scott Camel Tartan Check Tweed Throw Blanket Wool, Great Britain, 66 by 48 inches. Um, sold really quickly. I did take an offer because I'm loving Best Offer at the moment, so I've been putting it on everything. Um, so I had it on for 30, but I think it was an automatic accept offer at £25 and I paid a fiver and it went really quickly. So, yeah, happy with that. Right, um, I'll upload this. Sorry about the buffering on the last one. Um, just to... Um, oh, hang on, just to... Oh, can I turn around? Oh, no, I can't, can I? I'm on the uh, different way. I can't work out how to turn around. But, yeah, just to... Um, reaffirm probably won't be any youtube coming out of me um for a while uh, i'll be in the chats but it's going to be bloody boring me showing you my jumpers so if you want to listen to me wittering on if you're not on insta get yourself on insta and come and follow me shelster h and um we can uh, have silly chit chats on there instead right have a good day everyone oh see everybody at hitchin can't wait bye, -bye.